What up? Happy Thursday, ladies and gents. So today what we're really going to do is kind of just clean up the chimney. I got some degreaser sitting on here just because the valve cover and everything looks crazy. I think what I'm going to end up doing is that I kind of being cheap right now. I don't want to buy a whole exhaust manifold for this car for $350 if I don't need it. So I think what I'm going to do is clean up this whole area. I'm going to take off the exhaust manifold. I'm going to see where it's cracked, how bad it is. Maybe it's just a gasket. Maybe it could get welded because I want this to be a budget build. Like I kept saying in the meantime, before I have to order parts from Yokohama Motors or whatever the case may be, I just want to get the whole interior nice and clean. I want this to be completely done. We already basically got the headliner off. I'm gonna cover this with like black or some fabric. I'm not 100% sure. I got some parts from Up Garage. Shout out to All Things JDM. I'll show you guys that in a second. And then I got some leftover parts like I mentioned that came with the car. But right now though, I'm gonna to continue to kind of just sweep up everything. Get if all of this, this was a headache. I'm happy I didn't record that because it was a complete headache. But let me clean all of this up. And with the power of editing, it is now done. Ta-da. Jimny's nice and clean. I vacuumed. I even put the floor mats in. They look really good. Wiped all this down. I'm going to show you guys the parts I ordered from Up Garage. Shout out to All Things JDM. And I'm going to show you guys the parts I ordered from Amazon. Because we have headlights, radio, uh, the rear seat bracket. I feel like if you have a Jimny, that's the first thing you guys need to order. Like Having these seats back here and not being able to have an actual adult is annoying. So I got like the sliding, the T-brand. I forgot what it's called. But the T-brand bracket. So that's going to be fire for this. I got window deflectors that i'm not sure if i'm actually going to use my last jimny had them and i like the way they look but i don't know i'm kind of digging the no rain guard look but we'll see what happens with that and then i also got seat covers but i'm gonna put that in way later but let's go look at that right now shout out to the homies so we got some nice seat covers black and red stitch i think up garage only gave these a three but i really don't see any imperfections front and back even have the headrests k products then we have this it's like the nice smoky uh tin color probably gonna put these on they have a little bit of cracks there's a little one right here but no complaints and then lastly like i mentioned the seat rails right here i think they come in instructions too oh no these are for the um the seat covers look it even still comes in the bag i don't know why up garage be going crazy with the ratings but then we have this guy right here also got this sticker. I don't know if you do this in for free, but thank you very much. And then let me show you guys the Amazon stuff. So this is my go-to radio. It's only $35. Jensen, you guys need to pay me because if you watch any of my old videos, I put this in my last Jimny. This is currently in the Wagon R. This was in my Suzuki Carry, I believe. I put this in everything. Like it's a cheap radio. It has Bluetooth. It's super short as you can see. So it fits in every pocket. And it doesn't matter. Like if I had enough space, I'd put Apple CarPlay. Since I don't, we're just gonna put a regular Bluetooth radio, 35 bucks, very easy to install. I'll probably do a quick video on this, but I already did one. So if you wanna watch that, click the corner right now. And then we have your generic uh, six inch headlights. I'm a Miata fanboy, So to me, this is gonna be my like 10th time doing this, honestly. So this should be a quick info. I also have a video of this though. If you wanna see that, click the corner. But they're your regular ring lights. They have the, when you put your hazards, this is amber. And then when you do a turn signal, only the ring lights up. And then on these cars, you do need a wiring harness. Do not just buy this light and think it's gonna work. You gotta get this harness. I'll put the links down in the description for these two. This was 20 bucks and this was like 60. And it makes a world, it makes a world difference just cosmetically. Like it makes the Jeep just look way better. But then brightness, like the 93 year old lights are absolutely terrible. So I'll see if I could do these today as well. I just want to get a bunch of stuff done, honestly, because the exhaust manifold is annoying. Don't really want to get to that right now. So if I could do everything else and they wait two weeks for Yokohama Motors to give me my parts, I'd rather do that. So right now what we're going to do, let's do the rear seat. So it's the next day. And when I got back here yesterday, I realized I didn't have any bolts. I didn't have any instructions. I had no idea really how the seat was installed. So I was like, let me go to Home Depot. Let me do some research and let me figure out exactly what I want to do before we get to the second part of the video. So now I'm going to show you guys. It's very simple. You're going to use the new mount and just mount them right here. Four bolts. And then this is how the original uh, seat bracket would go so it would go like this you just have to remove that from the seat very simple it just i just used a fly head and got the pin out that was very easy and now i had my seats on the third bar i'm just gonna do the same thing again on this one i'm not even sure what the height necessarily means but i'm gonna just do the middle again so what we would have to do is 
basically get this here. I might even take the whole bracket out. I think that make my life easier. But we're gonna get the bracket there. I bought these from Home Depot. I think this should work perfectly fine. And you just put them through and that's pretty much it. So let's do that right now. All right, so here's how it should look. Nice and secure. The stock seat's gonna have a bolt like this. That's how it was mounted before. And then a little lock washer at the end. Take that out. And like I mentioned, the 20 by two inch. I kind of wish it was a little longer. You could kind of see I have a little bit of play right there, but I wish it was longer just so it could be a little more secure. But I'm gonna do that side next and then let's put the seat back in the car. Push that in. Get the lock in the back. Grab an 11. Ta -da. Now let's grab this seat. And now we can take the seat, put it down. This is about your stock Jimny seat length. You probably have about that much room, maybe two hands. If you're a full-size adult, I'm like 5'9", it's very uncomfortable. You can barely sit back here like, oh, demonstrate it really quickly. So this is the driver's seat all the way up. And my knees are right there. I'll bring the passenger seat all the way back. This is what the passenger seat, that driver length. My knees are like this, basically. So it's not very comfortable. You can sit like this, I guess, if you man spread like crazy. But now I'm going to show you why the seat is worth at least 100 bucks. All right, so we're going to take our seat, pour those two down. It folds completely up too. I think the socks seats do that too. But as you can see, we have two sliders. So this slides all the way up. It's a little easier when the seat's down too. So I'll take this. I'll push those two in and then I'll put the seat all the way back and let it lock into place. And now look at the difference. It's about one hand and I'll go back here again so you can see driver seats exactly the same. <laughs> look at the difference. It's not all the way back, but now let's take this one all the way back and look. A lot of room. You're chilling back here. That's why I was like, if I'm going to build an off-road build, I know I'm probably going to go with more than one person. So I want at least three people. Three people can sit comfortably here. Like, this would be me with my feet on here. I guess like this. There is a whole other seat right here. But realistically, three is perfect. Four is not pushing it. But like, look, this is me sitting back here chilling. So that seat, 100% worth it. That's the first thing we're going to get done. But yeah, I think I'm going to end this video here. I want to get the radio done. I want to put the new headliner on very soon. I want to put the headlights on very soon. I'll probably do all that tomorrow. Today's 7th day, though, so I want to go over there and make some cool contests. My first time ever going. I'm going to take the good old Miata. But yeah, I'm going to end this video here. Jimny's nice and clean. We got the rear seats. Radio next. Headlights next. Oh, fog lights, too. Let me show you guys these fog lights I got from Amazon for 25 bucks. I think that should be a very easy install as well. So I got these on Amazon a while back. I was actually going to put it in the Suzuki Wagon R, but the location really wasn't fitting. So I think what I'm going to end up doing is probably just putting them right here. Mount one there. Mount one there. It looks like I already have all the wires. I'll just hook it up to this OEM fog light wire. One of these two. Maybe I get a light bar up there and use the other light for that. But this probably coming in the next video as well. But I'm in this video here. Catch you guys on the next one. Jimny build coming along. Can't wait. Peace.